In Lagos, uh, the Nigerian Navy has handed over seized cannabis sativa worth about 60 million naira to the Nigeria Drug Law Enforcement Agency and also bags of rice with a street value of 12 million naira to Nigeria Customs. Senate correspondent Ivy Kanu reports. To curb smuggling in Nigeria, security agencies must put aside agency rivalry. The outcome of that synergy is what is being witnessed here at the forward operating base of the Nigerian Navy in Badagri, Lagos. Handing over of intercepted contraband, the commanding officer Nava Forward Operating Base said the interception was made months ago by the eagle eyes of his men at the area. According to him, all efforts to ensure smugglers have a change of heart is not yielding positive results as they keep devising new ways to beat security agents. Our focus is to create conducive atmosphere for the good of the people and for social economic activity to thrive within this area and a larger Nigeria. And, uh, and the only way we can uh, get that is by intelligence network, we have our intelligence network and a constant patrol within the waterways and then on land. And through this uh, means we're able to overcome the perpetrators of these heinous Representatives of both Nigerian Customs and National Drug Law Enforcement Agency stress that the country must be put first while carrying on with any business. Crime is part of the society. There is no way you say you cut crime and there is no more crime. So as far as NDLA is concerned, we are doing all within our possible best to see that we we'll bring this drug menace, trafficking, abuse, use to the barest minimum. Being a business uh, activity, once arrest is constant, actually the businessman won't profit. But because that is their means of living, they cannot stop it completely. And that is our own side of it. The agency is called for information from members of the public to help in the fight against smuggling in the country. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos.